And we're live. It Yay. is the event show of the week. Alert. See, why are you just... <laughs> Ginger no, because I don't want to say things because sometimes it's going to this camera, sometimes it's going to that camera. So I, I kind of... No. It, and so sometimes you, to dad. If we don't say anything, it will be focused on you. Ah. You can really? Talk. Hello, everyone. <laughs> you can talk. So yeah, if you're not speaking at the same time, the editor will cut between the two of you. Uh, but if you're boring, it will just stay on Steve because... <laughs> 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 that was funny. Oh, that was. That was funny. Okay, sorry. All right, all so right. welcome to the events podcast, and we have all the all our podcast hosts here. Hello. 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 Hey, hey. So let's get on with it. What's happening? So what's the date on Sunday when this goes out? Do you, anyone know? They're all looking at each other. <laughs> uh, anyone got a calendar? 10th. 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 So this goes November. out on the 10th, so we're revealing what events we want to highlight from mm -hmm. the 10th for exactly. that week. Mm -hmm. So who wants to go first? I want to go first. Okay. So my name is Anne. Okay. <laughs> Hi, Anne. <laughs> just Hi, Anne. Hello, everybody. Hi, Anne. It's like one of those nice sessions. Nice to meet you. Hi, Anne. Hey, hey. And, and you're so, here for what? So I'm here to talk to you, everybody, about a business networking event upcoming. So this is a cool one. I think this will rock because it's with American Chamber, AmCham. And they have a breakfast seminar on Wednesday. Oh, there you go. You've just revealed it. What? It's because they're, they're having breakfast. That's why you're excited. Well, I do love breakfast. <laughs> I, it's not that I, I don't hide that. Okay. Breakfast is one of my favorites. Okay. So, okay. So it's Wednesday the 13th and it's 8.30 to 10.30 a.m. at uh, W Doha, the Great Room Central. Okay. Whatever room that is, I don't know. Anyway, so if you're a non-member, it costs 200 reals, but I say it's worth it. Because? Because they have this great Scott Warren. Have you heard about him? No. He's a really cool guy. He's like a cybersecurity wizard. Wow. Wizard. And, and apparently he's a hottie as well that Anne I, keeps on going on about. I was trying to get that one in, but I thought, <laughs> no, I'm going to We won't say that. <laughs> Oh my God, do you so know right. that it's my so in-laws, right. my mama, Pete, everybody <laughs> listening to this, and he's coming maybe on the show, that would be so embarrassing. And oh, it's going to be embarrassing. Yeah. <laughs> he's really a cool guy. I met him. I'm sure you know. he is. And he's from Square Pattern Books. I'm not sure if I'm saying this right. I'm Swedish and this is American. So, Square? Is this squ Squire. Squ so, okay, it's, it's not Square. Sorry, I'm Squire. Going. Squire Patton Box. Yeah, Squire Pat Patton Bo Box. Box? Yeah. Box. Okay. Anyway, so he is going to talk about, you know, it's a lot of hackers out there, right? Yeah. So, and I know that. Yeah, I, I was supposed to say that too. You, 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 that <laughs> you can share that story with us. <laughs> well, maybe I will go actually, because, you know, we are all targets. Mm -hmm. We are all targets. And of, of course, I mean, this is not for, for me, like a person and show. This is like the business are targets and it's not fun to be hacked. Anyway, they're going to explore how hackers are creating the sophisticated hacks that they are doing. You know, it's like, it's, oh, oof. and the focus on the Middle East. So it's going to be cool. Mm. We've been hacked. Ginger Campbell's been hacked. Really? Yeah. About four or five years ago, oof. I had a knock on the door at my house. Yeah. <laughs> what? No, but because I had a sticker of Ginger Campbell on the back of my car. Yeah. And someone had stopped to see the, you know, they thought, oh, that's a weird sticker. So then they... Googled the website, yeah, and then up popped the website on the on their mobile phone, but it had messages under the menu. So, but when you went on our website on on your normal PC, it was fine. Mm -hmm. But it was only on mobile mm -hmm. that when you oh. went to the menu, all Strange. these little messages came up, and they went, "Is this you actually doing this?" And went, "No, that's nothing to do with me." Wow. wow. That was a strange I hack. Saying them doing it, that. Well, I'll tell you after about the hack, but okay. uh, what the actual okay. messages were. 
Okay. It, it's quite scary too that when somebody takes your identity. Yeah, but like it's that, scary. Right? Yeah. So, I no, mean, you had that, didn't you? Oh, Where your identity so you got feel, taken. I mean, and I'm just a private person. And can you believe you that are big corporate business? <laughs> Who would people? know you? Why would they target you? Exactly. Me, I'm so nice. <laughs> so quiet. So quiet so and so like unsocial. Silent. Absolutely. And not on it. No, anyway, so and they are also going to talk about understanding how Qatar's data privacy law, you know, in, in Europe, we have something called GDPR. It's a it's a law. So you cannot. It's a big thing back in my country. Mm, and ours, in yeah. the UK. So it's a thing that you, you know, you cannot just share personal data. And it's a, you know, and it's a big law. Crazy fight. Big yeah. fines, big, it's big, a big, fines. big, big. Yeah, yeah. So they're going to talk about discuss GDPR as well. Great. Well, uh, that sounds great. And that's Wednesday. Yes. That's well worth going to because yeah. the, the, the laws will change here in Qatar. Exactly. So, so it's mm, interesting. It's best to get ready for it. So they should, everybody should go to an update on Qatar data privacy laws and cybersecurity status. Very good, Anne. Status. status. Okay. Okay. Let's go to something lighter. Okay. So, <laughs> okay. uh, Basically, Qatar Foundation is inviting everyone to the Friday Souk at Education City. So um, it's inviting all the community members of all ages to visit every Friday uh, to this uh, Souk event. And it's been held every week at Oxy Oxygen Park, as I said, in Education City. No ticket needed, so the entrance is free. And it's a very friendly market they have there. You can buy food, you can buy handmade clothes, you can buy, um, what else, handmade product, uh, well, a lot of the different stuff. And also they have a playground for the kids where they can just do some activities and play while you are just chill out there and relax a little nice. bit. So, um, yeah. That As sounds I great. What time does it start? It's from 9 a.m. until 9 p.m. Really? Yes, and all the children's activities are free. So that's a very good idea. That's very good. To go. mm. Yeah, and even the weather is getting, is getting nicer and nicer, so it's a good... Uh, it's nice. a good option to spend a day. Very good. Yeah. I love yeah, it. Yeah, I like that. Me so, too. So, yeah, yeah, that's from my side. Yeah, so, I hope you go. And by the way, I went to the uh, Angry Birds uh, Festival. You did? Which, How was it? And it was, it's amazing. It's it is. So it's a it fantastic is. place. Yeah, yeah. I just took photo with all the Angry Birds. Like I didn't this. see that. Well, I just, uh, in a private thing, but I would say that with you. <laughs> She's not an Anne. Where yeah, uh -huh. I'm kind of like, I don't know. You know every half an hour what you're doing. <laughs> you, are, you are the influencer here. No, you are the influencer, influencer absolutely. I'm just like crazy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But honestly, it's a very good place. It will be until the 16th of November. So just a reminder what? to go. The, the Angry Bird Festival. Oh, the Angry yeah, Bird can Festival. We, can we may maybe go, everybody of us? And go and hug the birds. Mm. Can I, we do that? I, I suggest I that. I tried to get in contact with my friend, but he's not. He's on holiday at the moment. So. Yeah, but we, it's a free entrance. We yeah, can just you, go and mm. hug them. Yeah. yeah. You right. just buy whatever you want to eat. You can just attend the shows there for the kids. It's good. Okay. Let's do it. Yeah. Let's do it. Okay. Okay. I'll I'll do mine, seeing it's uh, a business one. Um, so next, this week, from the 12th to the 14th, it's the Hospitality Qatar. Mm -hmm. It's at the Doha Exhibition Convention Center and it is running from 1 p.m. to 9 p.m. each day. And it's primary international hospitality and Hureka trade show. So what is go. Hureka? I don't know. What is Hureka? Uh, good question. I think that's the organization. Ah, sorry. Um, yeah. Shh. I don't know. But anyway, it's the hospitality. Sorry, it wasn't. No, it's not there. It's not in there. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I didn't want to be rude, but I just was nosy. I was curious. Curious. Anyway, it's in partnership with the National Tourism Council. And we're going. Are we? Yes. Oh, yes. You said yes, we've been we invited. Mm -hmm. So, there's, yes, I think that would be a good one. Yeah. Steve. I'm going for a biggie because I, I, everybody must know about this, about the club championships, but it's actually called. Um, is it the 24th um, Golf Cup where on from the 24th of November to the 6th of December hold on that's the 24th that isn't next. this I, isn't I our understand, week this but is I'm completely getting, out no, of our... why I'm doing this now is I want people we need to back and support these things so be preparation <laughs> 
And um, oh, but that's true. And yeah, you also need to buy your tickets in advance. You need to I buy know, your tickets. I know. Hold I, on. I, Sporting I, events. I could. What's talk happening? About the, what's happening? Which one? The swimming one. Is that happening now yeah, yeah, or was that already passed? Are you trying to catch me out now, aren't you? Well, you said you no, only had one event. I got, I got two events. Oh, he said everybody... one event at the beginning. Oh, no, I did have two, okay. but everybody had one, so I didn't want to be the odd one out. No, you can... You can, you can be the yeah. star today, yeah. Yeah, you can yeah. promote however much you want. Okay, so really? the, the, one of the things... Well... Well, within reason. Within reason. <laughs> within <laughs> reason. That's why we don't <laughs> want it to go on. Look, okay, pr- world championships that everyone knows about, and most of the tickets are sold out anyway, aren't they? Exactly. I was well. I was talking to a pilot this morning and mm. he was saying he tried to book his tickets because he wanted to bring his dad over. And we promoted it last week, obviously, because yeah. that's why they're all yeah. so busy. That's why we need to promote it today. Yeah. But next so week. are we gonna are we gonna get any famous stars on your podcast? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Why are you doing that? No pressure. <laughs> We oh, will come do. On. We will. No, we will Everyone do. Everyone would There's have heard gonna, the podcast. Look, they're going to be on the show. We've got a kickbox on the show next week as well. So it's going to be great. Anyway, let's get back to the <laughs> serious things. Um, so it's a golf cup. Uh, golf cup 2019.qa. Okay. Sorry, I'm looking all over the place. Um, and it, the tickets are amazing. So if you want to go, the grade one tickets is 50 reals. 50 reals. So this is in the game. World Championships. This is the one. The, yeah, the golf cup. The golf, the twenty um, from the six, sorry, twenty four. You're losing me now. The twenty fourth of November to the sixth of December. Okay, it's the twenty fourth Golf Cup. The website is golfcup two thousand and nineteen dot qa. The tickets, the grade ones are fifty reals. The grade two are thirty, and the grade three are only ten reals. That's value for money, if anything. Just get along and shout for those 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 football teams of yours. It's going to be fantastic, right? Mm-hmm. It's going to be great. Cool. Yeah, so okay. that's a really good event. And I know it's in the distance, but get your tickets now. Let's yeah. say we're, they're sold out. Absolutely. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. And what's your next? My next, uh, look, this is a different one. It's um, <laughs> uh, it's an eSports thing. It's it's done by uh, Red Bull. Red Bull back-to-back, okay? You can go to their website. That's the um, www.redbull.com back forward slash back to back. It's um it's at the One Up Gaming Center, which is by just before you get to the um flyover on Sawa Road. Okay. Matrix not Matrix, what's the name of the roundabout called? I can't remember. Anyway, so just as you're going over the flyover on Sawa Road, okay, come off there. And you've got one place called One Up Gaming Center. It's an esports platform competition. Cool. Okay, so they're playing football. It's free of charge. It's from the 1st of November to the 22nd, from 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. It's free. And again, go to the um, website, redball.com, back to back, forward slash back to back. Um, or if you want to call them to get more information, it's 5586-1452. So if you're into gaming, it's all it's two people playing five versus five. Okay, it's going to be quite exciting. It's a final for this region. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah, that's a very good one. Actually, I was talking to someone or I heard something where, or maybe it was on your podcast, where people, um, you know, our generation, when we were growing up, it was all about, you know, trying sports. Mm-hmm. Go into sports, you know, follow your golfer, follow your... But now, the younger generation, it's all about esports mm. and being a gamer <laughs> because that is... It's huge money. It's bigger money than sports. But can you believe how bad that is for the for the for the body that we are not moving around so yeah, much? Yeah, but maybe they're not moving while they're playing it. But then they can be in the gym or exercising. Yeah. Maybe they're they doing do workouts both. for their their thumbs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's and their fingers. The, fingers. the thing with this is, it's it's kind of um. Again, when I was young and I was fifteen, I was asked to um to race boards for big big razors, and it was windsurfing, and I went home to tell my mum, mum. Mom, they're going to pay for me to go racing around the country. She went, don't be stupid. Go and get a proper job. (laughs) Yeah, because that generation didn't understand. And I think that's the same with uh, esports as well. Yeah. 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 And who am I to say that? Absolutely. Just because I am so very good in the morning nowadays. It's what it's just one of those. Yeah, things. glad my to see that you're back on track. Thank you should see my son, and he likes gaming, but his speed on the keyboard is incredible. So there are some positives, and he's going into um, programming. So well, that's good. there are some benefits. Absolutely. Anyone else want to add anything yeah, else? Yeah, I want to, oh, to okay. talk a bit about Happy Munchies. Oh yes. Our new podcast, Happy Munchies. 
well, it's not new. We just have a name on it. The so, food review. So what? Yeah. So what Sam's saying is that your onion used to do a food <laughs> review, <laughs> which went out every week, but now we've taken that and created its own platform. Yes. So you can find it on in Instagram, Facebook, and any podcast app that you follow. Happy munches. Happy munches. The it's happy munches. We want to. We want to just like um, give a shout out to some restaurant that we that we like, right? Like a recommendation. Okay, go. So. I want to give a little chung, chung, chung. Actually, we haven't been there yet with the Happy Munchies, but I want to actually say go there because it's so cool. It's Crossroads at the Marriott City Center. Marriott Marquis City Center. And I've been there already. Oh, you've been there already. Oh, so this is this is a bit of a look. We we get we pay for your meal and uh, no, a no, free no, promotion I, no, for them. No, I actually paid myself because I didn't know anything about this. No, so but, you're promoting Crossroads without my knowledge. No, but really, it's a it's oh, a cool place, geez. and we will go there. We have been invited to go there. Yeah, yeah, but we are busy tonight. We are busy tonight. Yes, we are. The, but this is this is going out on Sunday, so I know. But, so we were busy last Wednesday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. But we are busy Sunday also. Okay. Yeah, we are. Anyway, oh, okay. so go there because it's open from six a.m. in the morning. You can have your breakfast, oh. and then you can have your lunch. It's open like for all the way, all the way to I think eleven in the evening. Or Why do they call it Crossroads? You know. I think it's because the old restaurant was called Crossroads. Who lo- who was in that? Because did you ever watch that uh, TV series Crossroads? Yeah. Oh. oh, Pete mentioned that also. It was ben, like a really bad, ben, ben, yeah, very so bad, opera. very bad, <laughs> very bad. But there yeah. is a there is Ray Cooder. Do you know the the um, the um, jazz? No, not blues. The blues guy. He did a record called Crossroads. I think mm. it's really good. I may be lying now. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> Maybe lying. Anyway, anyway, so yeah. Anyone no, listening? It's, it's if really he, if she's wrong, just can I know. let us know. Can yeah. I give one shout out because I thought it was absolutely fantastic, and I want to give it a shout out to the M. I get this right. The MOTC, yes. the Ministry of Transport and Communication. Mm-hmm. You did an amazing job from my side of things when I, when I saw it. It was incredible. And what you're doing for Qatar was was just unbelievable. There were so many startups. I listened to some of them. Really amazing. And the award winners were fantastic. So, um, yeah, big shout out to you lot because you did a fantastic job. Good stuff. They did. Yeah. All right. All right. On that note, on that positive note, Yay. let's close yeah. the show. Have a great week, guys. And if you've got any events that you want to promote, please get in contact with us at contact at gingercamel.com. Mm-hmm. And don't forget these guys' podcast, Doa Heat with Martina, In the Game with Steve, and Your Onion, and the Happy Munchies. Happy Munchies. Have a great week. Bye Bye-bye. for now. Bye-bye. Bye. <laughs>